What was created the first day? Light, the sun, man, plants. The answer is light. What did God call the firmament created the second day? Man, void, heaven, earth. The answer is heaven. What did God create on the third day? Sun, fish, and birds, cattle, and fish. Heaven, land, and plants. The answer is land and plants. What did God create on the fourth day? Sun, moon, and stars, cattle, and birds. Man, plants, and birds. The answer is sun, moon, and stars. What did God create on the fifth day? Stars and cattle, cattle and creeping things. Man. Birds and fish. The answer is birds and fish. What did God create on the sixth day? Oceans, land, seas and fish, man and animals, birds and fish. The answer is man and animals. God said, "Let us make man, a wonderful and fearful creature, in our image." From the apes, a little lower than the angels. The answer is in our image. God made man male and female and instructed them to slay the animals, name the stars, be fruitful and multiply. Only kill animals for food. The answer is be fruitful and multiply. God saw everything He made and repented of it. Was astonished. Esteemed not himself. It was very good. The answer is it was very good. Genesis two. Which day did God sanctify? The first, the third, the fourth, the seventh. The answer is the seventh. What did God do on the seventh day? Rested. Made man. Made light, made the heavens. The answer is he rested. It had not rained, but this came up from the earth, thundering and lightning, a mist, a geyser, a fountain. The answer is a mist for the plants. What did God form man from? His breath, the dust of the ground, wind. A rib. The answer is the dust of the ground. Man became a living soul when God formed him. God breathed in his nostrils. God created Eve on the third day. The answer is God breathed in his nostrils. Where did God plant a garden? In Jerusalem, in Bethlehem, in Gethsemane. In Eden, the answer is in Eden. This tree was in the midst of the garden, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the tree of heaven's glory, an apple tree, the tree of deception. The answer is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. What did God say would happen? If man are from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, he would grow wise. He would be like God. He would die. He would know no sin. The answer is, he would die. God made woman from Adam's rib, Adam's heart, the dust of the earth, clay. The answer is Adam's rib. This tree was also in the garden, an oak tree, the tree of golden leaf, the tree of life, the tree of happiness. The answer is the tree of life. The serpent told Eve if she ate the fruit of the tree in the midst of the garden, she would die, get sick, have authority over man, be as gods. The answer is B is God's. 
When Eve saw the tree was good for food, and pleasant to the eye, and to be desired to make one wise, she asked God for some of the fruit. She quickly ran from the tree. She ate it and gave some to her husband. She knew the serpent had eaten from the tree. The answer is she ate it and gave some to her husband. After they ate, Adam and Eve's eyes were opened and they knew all things. God would destroy them. The serpent was the enemy. They were naked. The answer is they were naked. Adam and Eve sewed fig leaves together too. Make shelter. Make themselves aprons. Make themselves masks. Make trap. The answer is make themselves aprons. Adam and Eve hid when they heard this talking in the garden. The voice of God. The voice of the serpent. The tree talking. A lion. The answer is the voice of God. What did Adam answer when God asked where he was? Who is there? I was naked and afraid so I hid. I was not hiding. I'm scared of the animals. The answer is, I was naked and afraid, so I hid. When God asked Adam if he had eaten from the tree, he answered, No, I didn't. The serpent gave it to me. I did and I'm sorry. The woman you gave me gave it to me. The answer is, the woman you gave me, gave it to me. What did the woman tell God? Adam gave me the fruit. The serpent beguiled me. I did not eat anything. I was hungry. The answer is, the serpent beguiled me. God told Adam, because of his sin, the ground would be cursed, and he would eat. By the sweat of his face, all sick animals, no more fruits, dirt and leaves. The answer is, by the sweat of his face, God put Adam and Eve out of the garden so they wouldn't mock him, destroy the garden, kill any animals, eat from the tree of life. The answer is, eat from the tree of life. Abel was a keeper of sheep, a tiller of the ground, a carpenter, a musician. The answer is a keeper of sheep. Cain was an electrician, a tiller of the ground, a carpenter, a musician. The answer is a tiller of the ground. What did Cain offer to the Lord? The firstling of his flock, fruit of the ground, a golden altar, songs of praise. The answer is, fruit of the ground. What did Abel offer to the Lord? The firstling of his flock, fruit of the ground, a golden altar, songs of praise. The answer is, the firstling of his flock, why was Cain angry? He did not want to give an offering. God accepted Abel's offering, but not his. Abel did not want to give an offering. God accepted his offering, but not Abel's. The answer is, God accepted Abel's offering, but not his. When Cain and Abel were out in the field, they sacrificed together. They praised God. They fought bitterly. Cain slew Abel. The answer is, Cain slew Abel. When God asked Cain where his brother was, he answered, Shall I give my life for my brother? He is in the field. He is on a journey. Am I my brother's keeper? The answer is, Am I my brother's keeper? What did God tell Cain cried to him from the ground? The voice of his brother. The voice of vengeance. 
the voice of the righteousness, the voice of his brother's blood. The answer is the voice of his brother's blood. What did God say Cain's punishment would be? Death, cancer. He'd be a fugitive and a vagabond. He'd never again see or hear. The answer is he'd be a fugitive and a vagabond. When Cain said his punishment was more than he could bear, God put a mark on him that says, you will not be held guiltless. 666. Whoever slays Cain, vengeance will be on him. Whoever slays Cain will be rewarded. The answer is whoever slays Cain, vengeance will be on him.